Gentlemen, in the unlikely event that the fire alarm being activated, please leave the town hall using one of the nearest designated fire exits. Form up on the assembly point at the rear on exchange flags and ensure all mobile phones are switched on. Good evening, Lord Mayor, good evening, members. Can I advise members that apologies for absence have been received from the Councillors David Cummings, Beatrice Michael, and Alan Walker. Are there any further apologies, please? Yes. A declaration of interest. Uh, can I remind members that you are only required to declare meetings any disclosable pecuniary or prejudicial interests, in which case the member will need to leave the chamber during consideration of that item. Are there any such declarations, please? Can I call on Mayor Anderson, please? <coughs> Thank you, Lord Mayor. Um, Lord Mayor, can I uh, move in pursuance of Section 249 of the Local Government Act 1972 uh, the freedom of city, uh, the freedom of the city of Liverpool to be conferred on the 96 hills for victims? But when uh, no one in this chamber is uh, unaware of uh, the tremendous uh, hurt that the families uh, have gone through over the last 27 years, but the victims of the Hillsborough disaster and their families have, uh, in my view, turned around one of the biggest miscarriages of justice ever seen in this country. And it is the actions that ha the actions of the families of all the uh, campaigns and the determination and dignity that has, I believe, uh, set, um, in my view, a clear, clear view that this city is dignified and everything that it does and stands united. We've done that, we've shown that through the vigils after um, the, the inquest was an announced, the verdicts were announced. And it was always our intention to do something that, uh, if you like, remembered the 96 in a way that reflected exactly what happened. And so, for the first time in the city's history, we are going to award the freedom of the city posthumously to the 96 uh, innocent victims of that Hillsborough uh, disaster. As I've said on many occasions, the world now knows the truth and that these 96 victims paid uh, the ultimate price for the failings and actions of others. And at long last, uh, we can now say that they were unlawfully killed. And so it was only right that this city honours them as individuals and that those 96 victims will never be forgotten in this city. John Alfred Anderson, Colin Mark Ashcroft, James Gary Aspinall, Hester Roger Marcus Ball, Jared Bernard Patrick Barron, Simon Bell, Barry Sidney Bennett, David John Benson, David William Beatle, Tony Bland, Paul David Brady, Andrew Mark Brooks, Carl Brown, David Stephen Brown, Henry Thomas Bay, Peter Andrew Burkett, Paul William Carlyle, Raymond Thomas Chapman, Gary Christopher Church, Joseph Clark, Paul Clark, Gary Collins, Stephen Paul Cocock, Tracy Elizabeth Cox. James Philip Delaney, Christopher Barry Devonside, Christopher Edwards, Vincent Michael Fitzsimmons, Thomas Stephen Fox, John Paul Gilhooley, Barry Glover, Ian Thomas Glover, Derek George Godwin, Roy Harry Hamilton, Philip Hammond, Eric Hankin, Gary Harrison, Stephen Francis Harrison, Peter Andrew Harrison, David Hawley, James Robert Hennessy, Paul Anthony Hewitson, <coughs> Carl Darren Hewitt, Nicholas Michael Hewitt, Sarah Louise Hicks, Victoria Jane Hicks, Gordon Rodney Hall, Arthur Horrocks. Thomas Howard, Thomas Anthony Howard, Eric George Hughes, Alan Johnson, Christine Ann Jones, Gary Philip Jones.
Jones, Richard Jones, Nicholas Peter Joins, Anthony Peter Kelly, Michael David Kelly, Carl David Lewis, David William Mather, Brian Christopher Matthews, Francis Joseph McAllister, John McBrien, Marianne Hazel McCabe, Joseph Daniel McCarthy, Peter McDonnell, Alan McBone, Keith McGrath, Paul Brian Murray, Lee Nicholl, <coughs> Stephen Francis O'Neill, Jonathan Owens. William Roy Pemberton, Carl William Rimmer, David George Rimmer, Graham John Roberts, Stephen Joseph Robinson, Henry Charles Rogers, Colin Andrew Hugh William Sefton, Inga Shah, Paula Ann Smith, Adam Edward Spirit, Philip John Steele, David Leonard Thomas, Patrick John Thompson, Peter Rubin Thompson, Peter Rubin Thompson, Stuart Paul William Thompson, <coughs> Peter Francis Tudor, Christopher James Trainer, Martin Kevin Trainer, Kevin Tyrrell, Colin Wafer, Ian David William, Martin Kenneth Wilde, Kevin Daniel Williams, Graham John Hunt. In addition to the posthumous award to the 96, the city will also uh, would like to bestow the following to Kenny Douglas MBE and to Marina Douglas MBE. Kenny, as most people know, was manager of Liverpool Football Club at the time and witnessed the tragic events on the day unfolding. The days and months and the years since that tragic day, Kenny became a leader and a beacon of strength and hope for all those in mourning. It goes without saying that his role uh, as, and what he has played during that time, the 27 years, has been nothing uh, but remarkable. His commitment to fight for justice and his support for each of the families has been invaluable. And I can't think of any more deserving uh, of this honour than Kenny Diglis himself. Marina, his wife, <laughs> Marina, his wife, has been a key campaigner uh, during the 27 years for the battle for justice following the Hillsborough disaster. She stood side by side with her husband Kenny at many funerals of the victims and has been a figure of hope for many uh, of her own fighting for so long. She's also uh, been extremely influ influential, uh, saving the lives of many after creating the Marina Douglas Appeal. In 2005, following its successful treatment for breast cancer herself, Marina has raised millions of pounds for treatment for this disease uh, in our city and gives hopes to thousands of families. Indeed, she was awarded the Citizen of Honour um, a few years ago and it's right and fitting that she is given uh, the Freedom of the City Award alongside Kenny, her husband. The Right Reverend Bishop James Jones um, has chaired the Hillsborough Independent Panel, whose report led to the caution of the inquest verdicts and the launch of criminal investigations he has dedicated many years of his life to the search uh, for justice and played a significant role in uncovering the truth. He also played a huge role uh, alongside myself and others, Louise Alman and many others, in fighting for justice for Michael Shields and as a uh, pastoral head and lead in the city over many years, he's also helped uh, countless individuals and organisations and rightly deserves the highest accolade our city can bestow. Finally, uh, Professor Phil Scratton. <laughs> Phil uh, was the main author of the Hillsborough Independent Panel's report, author of Hillsborough, The 
truth. It's been a leading campaigner for 27 years on the Hillsborough fight for truth and justice. His work has shone a light on the dark secrets and lies that were cut up, covered up for so long. Quite simply, without his commitment and dedication over the years, we would have not, never had the outcome that we've achieved today. He has been a tremendous figure of support to the families throughout this campaign and the people of Liverpool owe him a great deal of gratitude and his right to fit in the film has also awarded the highest accolade that our city can bestow, the freedom of the city. Councillor Elder Mayor. Can I second that, Lord Mayor? Do any of the group leaders wish to speak? Councillor Crowley, Councillor Bradford, and Councillor Kerr. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 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 Thank you, Mr. Chairman.
and the way we work for each other. And we can say to all those people, particularly those we honour today, that you can now <coughs> lay down your burden. You can, in one way or another, rest in peace, including those campaigners who didn't quite see the end of the campaign. But I would suggest, my Lord Mayor, that in laying down their burden, they're giving it to us. Because I don't believe that this is a story that has ended. Out there, there will be lots of people thinking, thank goodness for that. It'll all go away. A few more newspaper articles, <coughs> and the waters will close over Hillsborough. And I believe it is our job to make sure that that doesn't happen. What we have seen in the last two years of the inquest is that this can happen again. It isn't just something that happened 27 years ago. When we've seen throughout the legal process over those 27 years, the establishment coming together to try and deny the truth and to protect their own. We've seen judges, barristers, ministers just turning a blind eye. And we saw that still in the inquest when barristers went out, despite all the evidence that came out of the commission chaired by Bishop Jones, to malign our dead, to rake up the lies that have been told about them. So I would suggest to this council, I say this to Mayor Anderson, that uh, I would be delighted to help in any campaign which now took those lessons from Hillsborough into the justice system to reform the coroner's cause, to reform the way the police federation does business, to reform the way that some police resources do business. Because until we do that, the spirit of Hillsborough must still prevail because <coughs> those problems that we have seen for 27 years may well happen again. Thank you. Is the motion agreed?